Yeah. Okay. Thank you very oh, much. Okay. Oh, one second, Chair Drum. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, okay. PC recording done. Sergeant Polite, can you do the cloud recording? Recording to the cloud or set. Backup recording is rolling. Thank you. Sergeant Bradley, you may begin with the opening statement. Uh, Sergeant Bradley, could you please stand down? We're having issues with your audio. I will make the opening statement. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the today's New York City Council's remote hearing on finance. At this time, can everybody just please turn on your videos? Silence all electronic devices. Thank you so much for your cooperation. Chairman, we are ready to begin. Okay, thank you very much, Sergeant Perez. Good morning and welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. I'm Council Member Daniel Drum and I'm Chair of the Committee. We have been joined by Council Members Gibson, Cornegie, Koslowitz, Rosenthal, Van Bremer, Grodenchik, Adams, Ayala, Jonai, Moya, Powers, Lewis, Diaz, and Mario. Today, the committee will be voting on five <coughs> items, an expense budget modification, a revenue budget modification, a transparency resolution, and two Article 11 property tax exemptions. Before we begin, I would like to give a very warm welcome to our newest member of the Finance Committee, Dharma Diaz. I speak beha on behalf of the committee in stating that we look forward to working with you. Thank you. Uh, you're very welcome and welcome, thank you. Now let's start with the budget modifications. The expense budget modification represents movements of approximately $1.7 billion of funding between and within city agencies to reallocate appropriations in the city's expense budget. The revenue budget modification recognizes $616.7 million in new revenues in fiscal 2021, which combined with an adjustment to the general reserve will be used to prepay $632.2 million in fiscal 2022 expenses. Next, we have the transparency resolution. The transparency resolution sets forth the new designation and changes in the designation of certain organizations receiving local aging, anti-poverty and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. As with all transparency resolutions, council members will have to sign a disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any of the groups on the attached list. If any council member has a potential conflict of interest with any of the organizations listed, he or she has the opportunity to disclose the conflict at the time of their vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts you may have with proposed subcontractors used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made before the subcontractor can be approved. Disclosure forms must be completed and submitted prior to the vote on the transparency resolution and may be emailed to Charles Davis. Next, we have the two land use items. The first is Shura House of Brighton Beach in Council Member Deutsch's district. This action would provide a partial 40 year Article 11 property tax exemption to support the preservation of 153 units of affordable rental housing. The second is Ridgewood, Ridgewood Bushwick 203K in Council Member Reynoso and Diaz's districts. This action would provide a full 40 year Article 11 property tax exemption to support the preservation of 83 units of affordable home ownership. Each council member is supportive of the exemptions in their districts. Um, hold on one moment. I'm just going to announce who else we have been joined by. We have been joined by uh, council member Amphrey Samuel and our majority leader, Lori Cumbo. And um, are there any questions on any of the items in the agenda? Okay, if not, I'm going to wish you all a very happy and holiday season and ask Billy Martin, our committee clerk, to call the final, fi the final finance committee roll. Billy? Good 
morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on finance. All items are coupled. Chair Drum. Aye. Gibson. With my warmest wishes for the happy holiday season, thank you, Chair Drum. As we close out the year for our last finance hearing, I appreciate working with you and being a member of this committee. To all of my colleagues, season's greetings to each and every one of you. We look forward to our continued work. I wanna welcome Council Member Dom Dharma Diaz as well to the Women's Caucus as well. We're very happy to have you with us. And Thank I have an eye on all of today's item agenda. Happy holidays, colleagues and friends. Thank you. Carnegie. Uh, I vote aye. Um, Danny, we made it to another one, miraculously. <laughs> so I think she's like, you know, very- uh, One more, one more, one more year. <laughs> Combo. What Vanessa Gibson said, and I vote aye. Kozlowitz. You're muted, council member. Council member Kozlowitz, you were muted. Also what council member Gibson said, and I vote aye. Thank you. Okay. Rosenthal. I feel like a broken record, but what Gibson said, and I vote aye. Van Bramer. Councilman, I believe you're muted. Councilman Van Bramer. I vote aye. Thank you, sir. Gordenchik. With thanks to the uh, men and women of the Department of Sanitation and the Department of Transportation, the Department of Parks, clearing uh, our streets and roadways today, and I'm going to go out and do my bit right now. I vote aye. Thank you. Adams. Well, what council members Gibson and Kordenschik said, I vote aye. Happy holidays, everyone. And Bree Samuel. Wishing everybody a safe and healthy holiday. I vote aye. Ayala. I see you, Council Member. Thank you. <laughs> Jonai. Ditto on all the comments of my colleagues. I vote aye. For the record, Council Member Ayala was signaling she votes aye. Moya. I vote aye. Powers. I vote aye and happy holidays. And I hope we will all see each other at some point in 2021. So uh, happy holidays. Lewis. I vote aye, happy holidays, everyone. Welcome again, Dharma. And thank you for your leadership, Danny Drum. Diaz. I guess Diaz Dharma. I wasn't sure if it was Diaz Rubin. I, I, <laughs> happy holidays. It's just you. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll get in line with this. Thank you all again for the warm welcome. I look forward to many more conferences of this nature. I also vote I and Feliz Navidad for anyone that's out there in the audience that um, Feliz Navidad, which is I'm just a little closer. Thank you, my colleagues. Again, that was- Matteo. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Council Member Matteo. Uh, very Merry Christmas to everyone. Happy holidays, and I vote aye. By a vote of 17 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I guess we can distinguish by saying Councilwoman Diaz. <laughs> very proudly, Councilwoman Diaz. Uh, congratulations to you also, and uh, thank you, everybody. Happy holidays. This meeting is adjourned at uh, approximately 
9.15 in the morning. Thank you. Okay, we're live again. Good morning to everybody. We're reopening the Finance Committee for some clarification on some voting issues. Uh, Sergeants, uh, do me a favor. Please uh, start your recordings. All right, one second. I think the cloud was... Oh, okay. Okay, PC recording done. Good to go. All right, yeah. once again, reopening of finance for some clarification on some voting issues. Uh, Billy, you can take it away. Sure. Uh, due to uh, some audio difficulties, Councilmember Ayala? I vote aye. Thank you. The vote is 17 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Thank you, everyone.